the band is so much more than just a group. Mm-hmm. They're so much more than a boy band. They're so much more than a K-pop band. They're their music, they're like their their style, their yeah. like influence, whatever. And and it comes across in the way they approach this piece. <sighs> Hey, real quick, I just want to welcome you to the Big Brain Singer channel, where singers and music lovers come together. I'm Charlie, and my goal is to share my knowledge of singing and love of music with as many people as possible. If you want to be the first to experience reactions just like this one, please join us on Twitch, links down below, Monday, Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And if you yourself are an aspiring singer and want a mini voice lesson from me, I hold a free and open vocal clinic every Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern as well. So make sure to join our community Discord server, links are also down below, to join hundreds of music lovers like yourself and to stay updated on community events. I hope to see you there and I hope you enjoy this reaction and analysis. We're gonna listen to BTS, Stigma, live video. Do you I've know heard BTS? so much about these guys and I have not heard their actual music yet, so. Yeah. So let's 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 shift gears to a little K-pop for a second. But apparently it's not correct to call them K-pop. BTS is their own genre. Also, I think K-pop is a little bit of an appropriative term because there's so many different musical styles in K-pop. But I guess that would also mean like symphonic metal is an appropriative term because there's so many different styles in symphonic metal. So, let's Down the rabbit hole we go. Let's go let's jump in. Down the rabbit hole we go. <laughs> Cosmic, don't do this to me. Thank you, Capriani. Do you guys know lo- what lo-fi is? Are you asking me? I'm just just yes, the, I know everyone. What lo-fi, is. lo-fi. This is so I lo-fi. I kind of get. I get. I definitely getting some lo-fi. It vibes. starts out with some strong like jazzy lo-fi vibes, very lo-fi, and then we get this really like beautiful sultry baritone sound. Mm-hmm. And I I I'm, I don't know all of their names. I know there's a lot of singers and there's rappers, but so forgive me. And I'm I'm just gonna describe them as. The, the baritone who started the song. Awesome equivalent t- uh, timbre to like the texture of this, how this mm-hmm. song starts out. Very right? fitting. So let's go back and hear that <clears throat> entry again. It's like a heartbeat. Very bluesy. R&B. Wither. So it's almost like that guy who was singing Poets of the Fall, right? Mm-hmm. And it's how it, like he has such a, a, a nice, warm, but not grabbed chest voice. Yep. Like low tones. But then you can just, you can just flip up into that like falsetto, very pure head voice sound super easily. Yeah. Because it's all really lined up super well. And you have a, like a really good understanding of how your breath works in context. And what I remember from watching this band last time is the one super impressive thing and is you know their performances are like complete theatrical uh ad- amazing theatrical events right and they're acting and dancing the way they present their bodies is completely separate from their singing as in a good way as in like there nothing is interfering with the voice they can be dancing super intensely but nothing will get in the way of how the voice is working Rob, thank you. Rob, I've not heard of Dan Vask, but I'll I'll definitely get to that and I'll let you know. (laughs) 
I love that you said that, Cosmic. This is like essentials of R and B, all in one in one show in one song. Like it's true. This is like super super. I, the emotion of it is the the beat, the way the beat is working, and the like the relaxation of the voices. I love it. Yeah, I see why these guys have such a strong following. Yo, that look. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. It was like, all right. Well, Jack. Yeah, Jack was just like, you know, you you can see you can see why these guys have such a big following, and like, cause the theatrics of everything, mm -hmm. the the absolute like commitment to the style, and they do so many different styles of singing. Uh, I've heard like I've heard like twelve different genres they've sang over the over the while, over like the all of my listening to this band, but it, like the styles and everything they they just do it so well. It's so refined. And like, look at that look. Like, we'll we'll play it again. Look at this look. Ah! That's it. Who's that? Wither, you're incredibly vulgar, but maybe not wrong. <laughs> Lo fi. Hey, thank you, Prob. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother. Single dog, I'm sure don't she watch it. Oh, Kiap, good call. This is very reminiscent of Prince. Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and so now we're getting away from that head voice sound, and it's now more of like a, a really nice and powerful mix. And this is like, instead of, you know, the head voice sound is like, is like smoky, it's sexy, it's, it's very, you know, yeah. Yeah, Wither, I was kidding, you're fine. A, a little, you were being very euphemistic. But now we're like a real person. Before it was like smoky, hazy, confusing, mm -hmm. and here... Oh, a little MJ too? Yeah, I mean, like, you combine, if you combine, like, pop icons and bluesiness, the bluesiness of Prince, like, I mean, Prince was so unique, it's hard to say, but you combine all the pop icons, you get this really good MJ sound. It's not as specific as MJ, but the tone is similar. The use of high head voice, like, light phonation in the, in the higher range is also very similar to MJ. And then, like, the smokiness, the grittiness, the, the, the sensuality is definitely uh cl very close and reminiscent of prince um and now we have a different voice coming out michael bolton not actually wrong yeah i could hear it especially in the in the in the high falsetto it kind of has that smoky sound that he yeah he has a little bit a little bit of that just like rasp. vocal rasp yeah yeah a little bit of that grit that michael bolton is very distinctive of and that higher stuff because and it's because the sound doesn't get smaller as the tone gets higher it is that really light and pretty pure sound mm -hmm. but the sound doesn't get pinched it get it keeps it stays like the natural tone yeah um yeah i mean look this group is really well known for their versatility of style and prince was well known for that like it factor that he brought to all of his music in that yeah. r&b way so obviously they're not going to be better at than at what Prince does, but they're gonna be best at what they do, you know? It's, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm this. Sorry, my that's like Michael Bolton. Yeah, that's that's like that really warm, it's, it's like breathy, but it's a powerful sound. It's a breathy, warm sound in the, in like the upper chest area totally. in that mix. Totally. And that is very, that is very Michael Bolton. Oh, some George Michael. Good call. It harkens back to the R&B mix. Of, lot of it, it just feels like they're paying respect to the big R&B icons. Yeah, Cosmic. That's incredibly well said. Yeah, it, it, they're paying homage to big R&B icons with the way they're singing. So you got Prince, you got like MJ, you got 
the uh, Michael Bolton, George Michael. You get all of those sounds like contained in this, and that's why, you know, this this song is a perfect example of why you can't just say K-pop and put this band under the umbrella of K-pop, right? Because the like the genre of K-pop like doesn't. It's not just pop music. It has so many different genres contained within it, right? A lot just happened that we want to talk about. That was bitching. Dude. That was that first was... of all, Drelle's perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> Sorry, Cosmic. You just got you just got dethroned for the perfect timings of the onsets. But wow. I mean, you probably Drelle's. You probably knew exactly what was coming up. Um, because then we had these this that amazing high like it was it was falsetto and then it went straight into like a really resonant heady. Yeah. Uh, belt like a really nice high piercing piercing note um this is an awesome example of paying homage to like the great r&b singers absolutely like suit like and how I, I don't understand really how a group can be so versatile and be so in a way authentic to <sighs> jollies don't admit that just just accept accept that you you've become the best at it just just accept it don't do it again you don't do it again because then you'll be dethroned if it's not perfect you know michael bolton yeah, yeah it's totally it's totally accurate jack sparrow yeah it sounds like the jack sparrow like meme song it's like the lonely island one so fair well okay so that what the, that that clip is not an onset that clip is like it's a joke because the guy is saying this is an onset and then he does that and it's like super overkill and not even that good but anyway let's listen to those high notes again because i i need to focus on those for a second oh we're doing emo So this is immensely impressive. I, I can't, you know, that's not in my in my voice. But it, you go up into that falsetto and, and on like an ooh, oh, and then just open the teeth and turn that into like a gritty belt. And, but it's like gorgeous, man. Yeah. It's like the perfect it's like silver. In yeah, area. it's like a silvery, like streamy, like pure sound. Oh, I love that. That's great. Oh, it's so great. It, that's, this is like a sign of an amazing singer who can make that transition super cleanly. Please try. All right, so final thoughts on that. Like, what a trip, dude. Yeah, it I mean, starts out super chill, really bluesy, and we get into that R&B, and we get all of these kind of little clips of, of like, paying homage to the great R&B singers, which yeah. these, guys, these guys are really intelligent artists. They're very well educated. They were trained specifically to do this kind of thing. So I'm sure they understand, like, yeah, I agree a little bit to Elton John. They, they, can, they pay to 
they pay homage to all the great R&B artists. But then, all like the last section of the song, they do something completely unique to them. Like that last, the way they're approaching those last high notes, like yep. that is that is something unique to them. Which is everyone in the, everyone who's talked about, uh, commented on my BTS videos. The few of them there are have always said like the band is so much more than just a group. Mm-hmm. They're so much more than a boy band. They're so much more than a K-pop band. They're their music. They're like their their style. Their yeah. like influence, whatever. And and it comes across in the way they approach this piece, where it's like fundamentals tributes to the greats acknowledging the history of the shoulders of the giants they're standing on and then they turn it into something so complete to their own yeah i mean you took the words right out of my mouth that was very very well said i mean that's 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 exactly what i just saw i mean my first taste of bts and i i would love to you know check out a little bit more and i yeah i yeah and like knowing that they do stuff they they sing of all they have so many different kinds of genres of music that they do um super impressive super awesome guys wow oh wow if you uh state cheats, thank Battle Vampire for the subscription for me. Thank you, Battle Vampire, for for gifting that subscription. Yeah, I mean it's look, we're obviously we're all here for different reasons for different kinds of music, but I think it's important to appreciate, you know how, um, you know how other genres that are necess- not necessarily our favorite, but like we can learn to appreciate the music for like what it is and what they're doing. So, yeah. and it, and you great know, job, guys. Every 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 new experience is gonna color you know your own experience. And it, I I mean I learned a lot just from watching these guys and from watching Nightwish just now. I mean it's it's amazing what kind of information you can pull from these other singers, even though you don't normally listen to them, or even if you don't even necessarily like their music. Yes, exactly, exactly. I mean, yeah. You know, this is so distanced from my musical experience. Nightwish is so distanced from my musical experience, but I love just digging in and discovering and learning more because it helps me go back to like my roots of music and, and, and appreciate it more. We were talking about how listening to all these different genres has helped us become better singers. Um, we were talking about this last night. It's like, it's an amazing experience and it's yeah. something that like, yeah. even as a lover of music, if you're not a singer, you can still like gain from that. Yeah. And you're always going to keep learning, you know, from classics to what's now to what's to come i mean there's just there's always more to and it's going to be something that's like oh my gosh I, I yes of course i can't believe i never thought of it that way before yeah wow you're still here if you did enjoy the video i want to invite you to check out my patreon page where i offer multiple tiers of perks for both aspiring singers as well as music lovers who want to take their listening skills to the next level also i do need to say it Like 90% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. It really doesn't take much. Can you please just press the little button down there? If you made it this far, you probably fit in right with the rest of the people who are the big brain community. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. (laughs)